Today, I'm going to present the work comparison of centralized and decentralized approaches in cooperative coverage control problems with energy constraint agents. Steady optimal coverage problem. The target is to find the optimal locations for the agents so that the total reward are maximized. The commonly used approach to solve the static optimal coverage problem include Voronoi partition method and a gradient-based approach. And here we consider energy constraint agents and they consume energy due to sensing and motion. So, but we assume there's a charging station av available for agents to replenish their energy while performing the coverage task. We call this problem the dynamic optimal coverage problem. We make the first attempt to solve this problem. So our approach is to characterize the behavior of an agent by three different modes and switch from one mode to another is triggered by the SOC threshold. When there are more than one agent compete for the charging station, we develop scheduling algorithm. But when more agents are competing for the charging station, the car coverage performance is degraded. This raises the question of what will be the best performance. When all information is available, will the centralized scheduling of planning have improved the current performance? What is the price of decentralization? To answer these questions, we must magically formulate the following problems. We have the object function, the H is the current performance, S is the location of all agents in the mission space. We consider a time horizon from zero to T and the B and B, they are the control variables. Here we shows the motion dynamics of the agent, X and Y are coordinate of agent I in the mission space and B is speed, speed is hiding angle. We assume there's an upper bound for the speed. Here is the SOC dynamics. The IIT is a binary variable. When IIT is one, it means the agents is in the in charging mode. When IIT is zero, the agent is in the energy depletion mode. We assume the coordinate of the charging station is zero and zero. We have three constraints. The first condition ensures that only one agent can be served at the charging station at any time. The second condition indicates that agent is in, in charging mode when it arrives at the charging station. The search condition prevents agent from running out of energy in the mission space. The problem turns out to be very challenging. So our solution is to decompose the problem into several sub problem. And we have found the optimal solutions of each sub problem. We saw the optimal coverage formation and the optimal charging formation and the TSP problem find the short, the shortest distance to visit all locations. Then we find the conditions for the feasibility problem and optimal speed to travel between two locations and optimal timings. That's the optimal dwelling time for agent to stay at each locations. 
to find the optimal coverage location and optimal charging locations. They are basically the static coverage problem. To solve this problem, we can use the gradient based approach. For optimal charging problem, we constrain one agent at the charging station and find the optimal locations for the remaining agents to maximize the coverage performance. Once we have found the optimal charging location and the optimal coverage formations, next task is to find the optimal switching between the two formations. Let's make assumption here. If all agents are of the same type, they need to take turns to visit the charging station and visit all locations in both optimal coverage locations and optimal charging locations. Therefore, we essentially transform the original problem into a TSP problem, but with bipartite graph constraints. Once an agent is in the optimal coverage locations, when the formation switches, it needs to move to the optimal charging locations. Other possible switches can be modeled by the complete bipartite graph. The width between two locations and the distance between them, the TSP problem with a bipartite graph constraints can be solved using the mixed integer linear programming. Now let's make another assumption that the switching between optimal coverage and optimal charging locations are synchronous. Let's just say all agents start and finish the switching at the same time. If suppose this is the solution for the TSP problem, then we can calculate the minimum energy requirement by doing it backwards. So let's assume here's energy when agent arrives at the charging station, then we can calculate the energy at this point using the energy cost it depends on the distance between the two locations and the time it spends on the trip and its initial energy. Similarly, we can find all the energy requirements. So for this one, the distance is zero. Then we know Q2N plus is the energy when an agent leaves the charging station. So kappa here is the energy increase. The tau C is the charging time. If we include an iteration index, we need the condition, we need this condition to make the problem feasible. In other words, the SOC does not decrease during a cycle. Only when the solution to the feasibility problem exists, we can maximize the dwell time. So once we obtain Q2N minus, we can calculate the minimal requirement for all locations. Here we divide up the optimal speed for agents given the distance between two locations and the time tau. Here is the object function to minimize 
the energy cost to travel between two locations. And here, the agent is in the energy depletion mode. If the energy consumption model has this form, the first part is due to motion. The second part is due to sensing. We use the optimal control approach. We find the optimal hiding is to follow a straight line connecting two locations. And optimal speed is a constant speed determined by the distance and time tall. Our last task is to maximize the coverage time tau d over and minimize the transient time during a cycle. Here we define a duty cycle like of this function. Let's remind you that tau c is charging time, the dwell time tau d, transient time tau t n t n minus one. We have two constraints. So the first constraint requires an agent to leave the charging station once its battery is fully charged. The second condition ensures that the charging time and dwell time must satisfy the feasibility constraint. So if we assume the charging model has this form, C is the charging rate, so big is the sensing cost, then the optimal charging policy is to fully charge the battery. Now let's show the simulation result. So the left figure showed the coverage performance for three agents of the centralized approach and decentralized approach. The right plot shows the coverage performance for six agents. The performance improvement is more than 6% and 3% respectively in both cases. We, by looking at the two plots, we can conclude the advantage of centralized approach. So the worst performance of the centralized approach is much better than those of the decentralized approaches. And the average is performance is improved by using the centralized approach.